Yo, what's up guys? In today's video, I got some huge Chicago Bulls news surrounding LaMelo Ball. So if you guys are high on LaMelo Ball and you want the Bulls to trade up for him, or maybe like if just stay at 4 and he'll possibly be there, you know, just well, stay tuned for this video. Also check out my last video if you missed it. The Bulls have been working out a lot of point guards, which I went into in that video. And we also like hired our first like coaching staff hiring. You know, if any other news or rumors about that come out. I'll keep you guys updated, but let's just jump right into today's video because it's a big one. You know, I'd say for months now, there's been a lot of rumors about the Chicago Bulls being really interested in LaMelo Ball. You know, whether that's us trading up for him or him possibly sliding down to four and the Bulls drafting him. You know, the other day in the Minnesota Timberwolves, you know, they have the first overall pick. They met with the projected number one pick, LaMelo Ball, on Tuesday. You know, sources told ESPN. And LaMelo Ball is expected to interview with Golden State, Charlotte, and Chicago as well. You know, I expect that to happen soon because the draft is coming up quick. You know, who knows if the Bulls are just kind of doing their job. You know, they're just interviewing like the top five best players in this NBA like draft. Or if like all the little leaks and like rumors and just a lot of like rumors have came out about the link like Bulls just being linked to LaMelo Ball. So who knows if the Bulls are just doing like their job interviewing like the top five prospects or they're really interested in LaMelo Ball. You know, our tour has hired, I'm pretty sure, two overseas scouts that really know like the overseas prospects in this NBA draft. And I know a lot of Bulls fans would love to get LaMelo Ball. I know there's like, it's like a 50-50 split, I'd say. A lot of people either love him or hate him. And LaMelo Ball, you know, I saw earlier this offseason, or yeah, this offseason, whatever you'd want to call that, he was like talking to Casey Johnson in the media, and he said he did not meet with or work out for any teams but the Knicks, and that was a, like I'd say maybe a month ago, which it was just a weird situation, I covered that in one of my past videos, but nowadays LaMelo Ball is expected in an interview, you know, he's not working out for any NBA teams, which is strange, but he is expected to interview but like every team drafting like one through four. And I saw earlier, you know, when he said he only wanted to, like, meet and work out with New York, I thought he was trying to, like, just drop his, like, draft stock and fall to New York because it's a big city and such. But right now, there is no plans to meet with the Knicks who are picked, like, who are supposed to pick at the 8th overall draft spot. So, that is interesting. You know, the Bulls are expected to interview him soon. It is kind of weird that he's not working out for NBA teams. But if any other news or rumors come out about that, I'll keep you guys updated. Also, leave any comments or questions below this video about this whole LaMelo Ball topic. But here's where it's get, like, it gets interesting. You know, I saw in like an NBA mock draft the other day, they had LaMelo Ball falling all the way to four and the Chicago Bulls drafting him. I'm going to be honest, I don't see LaMelo Ball falling to four. But if he does, the Bulls better take a chance on him, and I believe Arturis will. You know, there's been a lot of rumors about the Bulls hinting that the best player available at four is most likely going to be a point guard. You know, whether that's LaMelo Ball or like Killian Hayes or an, uh, like another point guard. Either way, there's also been a lot of rumors about Arturis wanting like a playmaker or like a true like point guard or like a point small forward like in Denny at four. And from just what I've seen with like Arturis and what he wants, you know, in an offense and team, he wants like a good point guard that passes around the rock, you know. In Denver, they had Nikola Jokic do that. And with like with the Bulls, I've said I see Wendell doing that unless, of, you know, we really want LaMelo Ball. But reportedly, LaMelo Ball is not performing well in interviews. Yes, this is the topic and news that's been falling, like, going around and it, everyone's just been blowing it up. And reporters have been saying LaMelo Ball is not performing very well at job interviews. And this reporter has heard from multiple sources he is not improving his like draft stock and such you know via like job interviews i'm gonna be honest i don't really know what to make of this i've never really heard this before you know i'm gonna be honest if if they want to like lamello stock to fall because he's not performing well in interviews or something let that happen you know i feel like lamello is a great talent you know his his shot and like his shooting percentages definitely need help but just his size, his wingspan, and all his potential is crazy. I feel like he has the most potential in the draft. I know a lot of you guys either love him or hate him, like I said. But you can't look at this man and look at the height, you know, his wingspan, his passing ability, and like his playmaking skills, and like just say that he's not one of the most talented prospects in this draft. 
you know, I'm not saying the Bulls should trade up for him. You know, I'm not for trading up or I wouldn't be opposed to trading down. You know, Artoris has traded down many times in Denver. But either way, like I said, I wouldn't like hate if we traded up for LaMelo. But at the same time, I could see him slipping to four. And if he does fall to four, I feel like the Chicago Bulls have to draft him. So definitely leave any comments or questions below about LaMelo possibly falling to four and the Bulls drafting him. And the final topic in today's video is about, of course, the NBA season. You know, the NBA still has to like figure out when the, like the NBA season is returning and such and how long like or how many games the season is going to last. And the NBA has informed its 30 NBA teams that they are now all allowed to open like practice facilities for group practices, workouts and scrimmages with up to 10 NBA players. So that's cool to see. I'm sure the Bulls will be back in Chicago soon practicing for this season. So if any news or rumors or any highlights come out about that, I'll of course keep you guys updated as well. And also, like speaking on the NBA season possibly coming back, NBA players may only be offered like a 50 game season. You know, if the like NBA union or whatever, they really want like a mid January start rather than like the December 22nd proposal. You know, because of the league's like television partners, they don't want to get in the way of like this past mid July or crash like with the Tokyo Olympics. So a 50 game season would reduce player salaries a lot and you know the NBA and like I saw like I talked about it a bit in my last video the NBA already lost a lot of money with the NBA bubble and if they start in January I'm pretty sure they're losing like 500 million dollars as well. So I know the organizations want to start in December but I know the players want to start in like July or January my bad but who knows man it's a lot of money they're giving up and the Pacers like point guard Malcolm Brogdon. I guess he's in like the unions like NBA or whatever and he told Rachel Nichols yesterday that he expects today's deadline on talks to be extended for the fourth time this year but he said by next week like around there they should have like the official NBA start date and how many games it's like the, the NBA season is going to consist of and just a lot of big news and rumors that are supposed to come out in a week or so so whenever that comes out I'll keep you guys updated also if any other like NBA draft rumors come out I'll make a video on it, of course. Like I said, check out my last video if you missed it. Follow me on Instagram. It's the same as my YouTube. Also, join my Bulls group chat. I'm going to have a live draft day like chat or whatever. So, definitely get in there. It'll be fun to just talk and communicate with you guys when the draft is going on. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Definitely leave any comments or questions below about all these topics. Thank you guys for watching. Have a good one.